here we are now in the deckling stage. Now, Tamiya decals are a little bit more temperament, well, so we say a bit harder than the nice cartographer decals. So we have to use um, stronger solutions like Mr. Mark Softener and Seta. Now, uh, you know, deckling's kind of pretty simple. There is a tutorial on the Genesis Models website and everything, but, um, you know, being a rapid video build, we do have like a little bit of a problem area just here which we could look at tackling. Uh, and the area is, is we've got to put down um, this kind of uh, red triangle with a cross in there. Uh, but if you look at the surface here, it is raised rivets and there's like kind of sort of you know one mil kind of raised bit stuck here and a nice big um, circular bit sticking out there as well there's there's quite a bit of detail sticking out now with decals you know it's kind of it's easier to get it to sink into recess panel lines recess rivets but with raised bits it can be a bit tricky um, not only that just get the piece out piece 11 here it is one complete decal. Uh, what I mean by this is the um, where you know we've got it sort of what looks blank inside the rectangle is actually just full clear decal. Um, so what this means is is we've got more chance of it silvering up um, or having air pockets in there or something like that. Now there are two ways to go about this. We can go off and we can whack a heap load of solution um, down on this and then slide um, this decal on or what we can do is is limit the amount of clear um, decal we have here. So um, just get in a blade and what we're going to do, I'll bring you in a little bit closer, is what we're going to do, we're actually going to cut out our, um, the parts that are going to be clear decal so that when we uh, dip this into water Right, all we're going to have that is uh, going to be going on the model is going to be the red bits, the bits that we want. All the clear bits are going to be nicely cut out. So now I've gone round and I've cut this all out, I'm going to dip it in some nice lukewarm water. And this is where, I'm just dipping it off camera by the way, and this is where you'll probably be able to see a bit more clearly, maybe just on the back where I've cut it, it just kind of gives you... Um, a slight sort of outline. You can just see it a little bit better. I don't think you can see it as good on camera, but um, you can see where you've cut uh, and you know if it's going to be all good. Now, uh, we need to leave this to kind of soak in and everything um, before we mess about with that again. But what I want to do, get a paintbrush and get some simple water, right? And where we're actually going to put this decal let's get you on camera where we're going to put this decal we really want to get a lot of water on we don't want no solutions or anything like this right because um, the hard stage of this is actually sliding the decal onto the model because we've literally kind of um, cut it so much that it's going to be a bit stringy rather than one kind of nice big rectangular decal going down. Um, so it's a bit hard to get the decal on but it gives you better results because you've removed so much of that clear um, decal. Um, let's just see if this is any good yet. All right, and what we should be able to do is literally kind of pinch if it's ready yet, which I don't think it is, I think it needs a bit more time to soak in. So now it's had um, a bit more time to soak in, we can literally just pinch out those bits of clear decal film just there and throw them in the bin. And we just want to get all four of them out, which should be rather easy if we've cut it all nice, as you can see, nicely cut out right there in the bin but then as I say this is where now we have this whole problem of you know this is going to be a bit sort of more decal uh, sorry more delicate putting it on the model so we definitely want to get some more water and just make sure we get that on there because the more water we've got the more it's just going to nicely slide off so let's just uh, try and get it going Although it's a little bit, I 
think where we've cut it we may have like kind of dug it in just slightly so we just want to give it a little bit of a, a move and then we should hopefully be able to nicely slide it off but as you can see hopefully let's get you in a little bit closer hopefully what you can see is it's going to be very delicate you could easily bend it um, wrinkle it up you know maybe even tear right so we really want to take this process really really slow all right bit of time very delicate very careful once we've got this stage out the way we should be all good for it to go down really nice and get a really much more better finish there we go so by having all this water on more than usual it should kind of flow on the water a lot better and for us to kind of maneuver this in better using a pin you know we can also maneuver this about all right just this little bit at the back here just sort of needs to be because I mean with so much water as well even if it sort of like wrinkles up on itself a bit you can quite easily sort of wrinkle it back out all right so I'm just getting this nicely in position now in the position it should be which is looking just there I do believe maybe a bit more across to line up with the other side there we go so with that down there we've got a lot of water on there so um, let's get a cotton wool bud and let's get up sort of the majority of this water before we start putting our solutions down so hopefully what you can see is it was a bit tricky getting on but because we've got rid of all that um, clear deckling film, you know, these these big lumps here and there, you know, we're not going to have any problems with it conforming round it and, and, and getting air bubbles. It's just where we've got our red pattern going on. So that's, that's, um, that's looking good. Now we want to use um, the Mr. Mark Setter. Right, this is just kind of like to, um, it works just like uh, the micro set, it just kind of lightly softens it up, it kind of gives it a bit of adhesiveness, you know, it gets it nicely sort of prepared for when we put on the big guns, which is the Mark Softener. Alright, so this is going on rather nicely. Um, I did use this in, um, oh, which build was it now? Um, I think I did show it you in the, the F16 one maybe, um, just putting these on and how they go on because um, they're a bit different to as I say Mr Mark Set and Sol um, and that is because the decals are a bit more sort of, um, they seem a bit more thicker and they need like a stronger solution like Mr Mark Setter and Softener. If we used to use Mr uh, micro set and micro sole uh, we'd be putting you know coat after coat after coat just to kind of get it to start going soft whereas with the the Mr Mark range you know we put one coat on and it starts to just um, you know soften up rather nicely so with that Mr Mark setter on there we want to leave that for maybe about 30 seconds or a minute just to start working its way in so with that having a bit of time to sort of nicely soften up and get some adhesiveness to it, we're just going to nicely, lightly roll our cotton wool bud along the deck. Now I'm doing it very lightly at first because remember, you know, this is a uh, you know quite thin decals because we've sort of cut them thin, and that can sort of crease up kind of easily so I'm just at first lightly doing it and then as I feel and see that it's really starting to um, stick down now I'm kind of giving it a bit more pressure and I'm giving it the bit more pressure so where there is any raised bits we're actually pushing the decal um, sort of nicely down conforming nicely to any raised rivets right 
and this is what the Mr. Mark setter has allowed us to do is to actually kind of you know sort of lightly push it down to conform to any raised bits right? and because the decal has gone soft it's, it's, it's just going around it rather nicely Right, so with that down, I'm quite happy with that now. It's looking um, rather nice. It's already looking like it's conforming to raised areas and, and that kind of stuff, which is good. So then this is where we come in with um, the really strong stuff, which is Mr. Mark Softener. And we just want to nicely brush on a nice bit of this stuff. All right. And we just want to let this nicely dry, right? Because what's going to happen now, this is going to really, really soften up the decal, right? So we don't want to be touching this or anything like that, because if we touch this now, it's just going to wrinkle up and smudge up. It's almost literally melting um, the decal to the model, sort of almost. Um, it's it's kind of like that strong, um, you know. So you really want to leave this alone, and hopefully when this uh, first coat's on, because we've cut away all that clear um, decal, it should be able to get in there a lot easier and a lot a lot nicer. And one coat should probably do it rather nicely, and then it will end up, you know, looking like this where we've got all these raised bits and we've got no problems with any kind of silvering or, or anything like that uh, or any air pockets because of raised areas so um, you know those are uh, the deckling stage for our um, mosquito uh, once this is sort of dried um, you know the usual process of let's let it um, sort of dry for a couple of hours then we're going to you know wipe it down with an anti-static cloth remove any kind of um, leftover dried residue of Mr. Softener or set, Setter um, and then we're simply going to seal it in with a couple of gloss coats of probably future ready for the final stage of weathering this model up and here she is all finished now i know i've just skipped a load but um you know this is rapid video builds fashion we are up to episode nine um i thought i'd just do a nice quick basic simple bit of weathering just to kind of bring this to an end and i am really satisfied with the results actually it's been a really nice enjoyable kit indeed to build um the, the one thing i would say is um, the disappointment to this kit would probably be the cockpit you know we did all that lovely um, scratch building work inside the cockpit and well I mean the only thing we can have opened up is this little door just down there and it's a little hard, hard to appreciate and see what work has actually gone in there so um, you know probably in future I'd recommend and what I'm probably going to do is you know there's, there's no point going to all that effort doing all that when you know you, you can't even open the canopy I, I think really you do need to have a model in which it's like canopy open or something like that so you can appreciate that kind of detail so um, it, it was fun doing it and I'm sure you probably learned a lot from doing all that um, um, scratch building um, but for me personally, as I say, you know, make sure you got a cam canopy open. Um, after the deckling, I mean, it was a simple case of we did some chipping. Um, we did a bit of pigments just here, just on, uh, just to kind of show some sort of like crew getting in, uh, kind of working on there and standing on the wing a bit. Just a bit of like um, pigments, which were just like browns and light browns. Um, you know and and that was basically it really you put the matte coat on and yes i used some um tamiya kind of um the tamiya weathering master uh, sets just to do these nice sort of little streaks but that was no big deal i do like the actual resin wheels that you get with uh, that you um buy um separately to this they are they do bring it out rather nicely um but really you know that is that we're all done with that so what we're going to do now is i'm just going to have a quick recap a bit of a final conclusion of this tamiya kit um, so if you haven't built this yet you can have a you know a nice rundown of it all now now 
what we have was um, these uh, this engine section here the two engines and the, the wheel wells well um, they went together rather nicely um, if you remember I did buy the um, the resin exhaust tails but these covers go on now and you just do not see the, those resin exhaust tails so don't bother buying them as an added extra um, landing gear went to went together it was a little bit fiddly if you remember um, but it does look really nice actually it's quite well detailed the wing sections they fitted absolutely beautifully no real issues at all going along there um, the wheels they went in rather nice nice assortment of weapons which was also very good um, the cockpit well we went to great detail in doing the interior here scratch building the works um, uh, um, and, and really you could have just left it as um, just out of the box because as I say you don't really see in there enough to appreciate it um, there was the option to actually open up your bomb bays and have bombs inside the bomb bays and stuff we didn't do that but um, you know I'm, I'm sure that's a nice added extra feature there was also pilots which um, I didn't put in um, moving along the fuselage section if you remember that went together rather nicely no fit issues I mean everything on this literally did have that typical Tamiya it just fits really nicely and goes together rather well um, moving along you know we've had these little different options for the different versions um, but you know it's it has just gone together really really nice and that's it really um, you know what can I say it's a nice simple um, easy build to do a little bit more challenging than say doing a little Spitfire um, but it is one of those kits where you know if you've done something big and hard um, you know pulling out one of these you know is it's a nice easy kit um, and you know the weathering side of things well you know we kept the weathering sorts of light so I didn't show that the decaling well the decals they went on rather rather nicely they were your typical Tamiya type um, decals you know you did need to use Mr. Mark setter and softener um, we did use those um, masks for the roundels um, I did also I, I've already mentioned this but I mean the roundels um, I'd have just preferred to put the decals on because the amount of hassle it takes to do masking this peeling back the mask put another mask down spraying this spraying that um, you know it's so much easier just to put a decal down if you put the decal down properly um, you know it looks not as good but it still looks good um, um, admittedly you know it does look rather nice when it has been sprayed down it, that, that is you know the better end result just it's just I, I personally feel it's a bit too much hassle uh, when you can just put decals down rather nicely um, the spray stage um, you know typical spray stage we've used the the same um, Tamiya colours for this that I've used for any of my sort of um, two-tone camo pattern for the RAF um, and you know those colours really do I do like them and it is good to kind of you know when you do say because I've done a few RAF type um, aircraft it is good to stick with the same colours so that they sort of all sort of match up and not having like different shades of grey or green which is um, rather nice there so you know this has been an enjoyable rapid video build i've enjoyed it um, i hope you've enjoyed it and you've learned a few things um, it was nice to kind of show you the whole um, wood effects as well to kind of you know although that's not going to wasn't the end result it was nice just to kind of show you that which um, i have seen uh, i think it was in a magazine somewhere somebody did do that with this aircraft and they did um, do it sort of i think it was like half wood and half camo so one half of it was just like all that gorgeous wood effect using those wood stencils and it did look absolutely amazing and you know and this is a, a nice aircraft to do that being as though it was made so much out of wood um, so that is it for our rapid video build of the mosquito by Tamiya a um, little bit expensive but you know what I think it's worth it because it has gone together rather well um, you know and the detail is um, you know really really nice so um, until the next um, video build here at Genesis Models my name is Bobby Waldron and I hope you've enjoyed